Now, for a business or a household, here's the promise. Your internet will go five times faster than it currently does, but it should cost you no more than you currently pay. Telling me he's dreaming, I hear you say. But that's the promise today by broadband company NBNCO for some of its users. So which users and how does this work? Well, Dr. Rob Joyce is the Executive General Manager of Customer Strategy and Innovation at NBNCO and joins me now. Rob, many thanks for your time. Tell him he's dreaming or not. We're not dreaming, Ross. This is this is for real. Thanks for having me on today and, and thanks for letting me explain what we're doing. Um, clearly, MBN's in the business of rolling out a future-proof uh, fibre-based network. And, and what we're doing today is we're, we're putting forward a proposal to our RSPs to offer five times higher download speed on current plans, on some of our higher tier plans. OK, so just this is the point. So who gets it? Who qualifies People who have only got fibre into their premises, into their business right now? No, the good news is it's the majority of our fixed line footprint. So today, 80% of our fixed line qualifies for this. By the end of next year, it's 90%. So really, you know, it's not a, a, limited, uh, a limited offer only to just a few select few. It's to the majority of the fixed line base. OK, so you said RSPs before. They're the retail service providers, so they're the retailers of your, your product, the telcos and others. Um, so the question now is whether they pass on this service without the extra cost, because you say at a wholesale price it won't change, yet the people will get faster speeds. That's right. It's up to the, the retailers to, to consider their costs, of course. There will be some costs because they'll be have to adjust their billing systems. They'll have to carry more traffic on their, on their own networks. But we're not charging any more. We're, we're passing this on at no extra wholesale cost to the, to the retailers. That's right. OK, really simple question. Why didn't this happen five years ago? Why didn't it happen three years ago? Why is it now? Well, it's now because we've been in a process of upgrading our network over that period um, to be gig capable. So gigabit, that's a thousand megabits. So, so the network is now gig capable. And so now's the time when we start to say, OK, we don't need to leave the, the speeds down at uh, archaic you know, 50 meg, 100 meg speeds. We can go all the way to a gig and even be beyond in the future. We're already beginning to talk to the retailers about where do we go from here? So, in other words, the internet is only going to get faster, not slower. So, that means download speeds, lack of dropouts, all that sort of stuff is going to be, become more normal into the future. This is not the start and the end. This is actually the beginning. Well, that's right. I mean, you know, more and more of us use the internet for more things each day. I mean, would you believe that we've gone from 10 years ago, we, we, we consumed about 40 gigabytes of data per month. We're now up at 440. That's the average Aussie home. Um, connected devices, we used to have seven devices connected to the internet 10 years ago. Today, we're at 22. Within three years, we'll be at 36 connected devices. And as I say, it's the fiber, it's the, the high-speed network that we need when we start streaming 4K movies. And, you know, I could go on and say, well, don't forget, we've, we've not even touched AI or augmented or virtual reality services that will drive the need for speed even further. And just quickly, I mean, what, what's the nirvana here? What are you hoping for? I mean, you're talking about a gig now. What are we talking about in terms of future speeds? Well, that's interesting. I went to uh, see Nokia Bell Labs recently, and I asked them exactly that question. I said, where do we get to? And they said, well, the, the speed that we're looking at uh, now on the fiber optic network, we can get to about 200 gigabits per second and even 400 gigabits per second. And, and to put that into context, that, that's like 400 times more than the speed. You know, I was taught one thing at university, and that was give a man a fiber, and you've pretty much given him unlimited bandwidth. And that's what we're seeing. As we roll out fiber to the premises in Australia, we're giving people the potential for super high-speed bandwidth in the future. And this is, as you say, just the start. Tell you what, it's a great breakthrough. Rob Joyce, thank you so much for your time on the program today. Thanks, Ross.